All right, back pain can be really annoying. And if you're frustrated that you wanna get back into your workouts, but you have been experiencing some back pain and you're past that real acute stage where you can move around, you can walk, um, most things are not bothering you, but every once in a while you're still getting some aching and stiffness in your back. I'm gonna show you my top three kettlebell workout exercises that you can do in the gym that'll help with back pain. My name is Dr. Dawn Andalone. I am a women's health physical therapist and helping so many women with back pain. I find that adding in strength and training the right way can be so effective. We want to a lot of times protect our back and protect it when it's under an injury. But if you start using these movements, these are actually more functional movements that are found in our daily activities, but we're gonna be adding and using a kettlebell with it. Now, don't worry, you don't have to use a super heavy weight. You can start with real light, maybe 15 pounds or so with a kettlebell. Keep it small so therefore you can just get the movement down first. And if you feel good after 24 hours later and you're not having any flare up from this workout, then you can start increasing that weight every time. I think it's important to note that if you are experiencing any back pain, make sure that you're, if you're having weakness or pain down the legs, numbness, tingling, anything like that, or changes in bowel or bladder function, any other major red flags, or pain that's waking you up in the middle of the night, you definitely wanna get checked out by your medical doctor. Make sure nothing else is going on. But if you're past that stage and you're ready to get back in the gym and you just want an idea of what you can do, these are great exercises for you. Now, back pain can stop you in your tracks. It can be really frustrating, but it's important to know that if you're keeping up on your workout routine and you are moving, movement is very helpful for lubricating the joints and getting blood flow and circulation. So overall, we want to encourage movement instead of so much rest and laying down when you are having back pain. Now, back pain can come from a lot of different sources, maybe from sitting long hours during the day, or you've lifted something heavy and your back already was susceptible and breaking down due to a prior injury. There can be a lot of reasons of why you're experiencing back pain. But going after movement and start integrating some weight training, I find is super helpful for the clients that I see that are wanting to really get back into their daily activities. Now, I choose kettlebells because overall, they can be great for helping build strength, helping your flexibility too. There's a lot of different types of kettlebell exercises, but when that weight is more compact, you can actually use your body and your trunk to control yourself. And it's a great way to build back in to later on use dumbbells or use um, a bar when you're doing things like squats or deadlifts. Start with a kettlebell. You're gonna be able to work on controlling your body within the range of motion of what that movement is. So the first exercise that I'm gonna show you is a kettlebell deadlift. And many women are doing deadlifts incorrectly and actually fear doing this exercise and integrating it back in with some weight because they're afraid that they are actually gonna re-injure their back and hurt it. Well, I would encourage you to try this movement without the weight first. Just get down some of the cues that I'm giving you, making sure that you're not rounding your lower back because that is usually the culprit of what you're doing wrong. But otherwise, kettlebell deadlifts are one of the most effective ways to really help strengthen around the back part of your body and help support your lower back. It's actually a great exercise for back pain. Okay, talking you through the motion. So you're gonna imagine that you're gonna crease and bend from your hips in the front here. So I just put my fingertips right in front of my hip bones and think of folding your body over that. So different from a squat where you're really bending your knees, instead you're flexing from the hip joint. And as you can see, my back stays real flat and I'm not rounding my back as I come over. That's usually the culprit why you're gonna re-injure your back. So I am going to take a kettlebell and I have it right between my legs. My legs are wide. And I'm gonna imagine putting the weight back into my heels 
and I'm going to flex forward and then come back up from there, pulling in through my lower belly and core and tightening my glutes. This is like a corset around your spine, protecting your back. And you wanna use your breathing. So you're gonna exhale on the lift, inhale as you lower. Try it again. As you can see, I had very little bend in the knee and my hips were going way back. So think of sticking your butt back and then you will do the exercise more effectively and it's very helpful for all these muscles through the back side of your body. Okay, the next exercise is a goblet squat. I love goblet squats because goblet squats are gonna mean you're holding the weight in front of your chest. In doing so, you are gonna make your core muscles actually fire and work more effectively rather than using your back so much. Squats are meant to think of sitting back in a chair. So if you can imagine that when you do a squat, you're gonna do it in a better form. So I have the weight in front of my chest. I'm gonna imagine a chair or a box is behind me and I'm gonna sit back, putting that weight on my heels. Now, as you can see, my knees are bending and my chest stays lifted and I'm gonna use my exhale as I come back up. So therefore you are using your core and protecting your back, but this is a movement that we're doing on a daily basis. We're getting up and down from a chair, the toilet, and therefore you wanna train this movement. So therefore your core and your hips do the work rather than your back muscles all the time. Okay, the next exercise, and I love this one because it relates to a lot of the Pilates-based exercises that I teach, especially to help back pain. So we are, again, going to use the core muscles, but in this position, you're gonna be on your back and you're gonna have the kettlebell with both hands right above toward the ceiling. And you're gonna keep it there for now. The knees come up, we call this tabletop position. Your shins are flat like a tabletop. Knees are bent at 90 degrees. You take an inhale, as you exhale, you let the weight come back and you drop one heel toward the floor. Use your exhale and inhale. You just wanna make sure you're breathing and you're maintaining that control. So you're not letting your lower back lift off. This one you are gonna tighten through these muscles as you're moving. So using your breathing is gonna help be able to use the correct muscles that are stability around your spine. So these three exercises can be done for a set of 10 to 15. Do three rounds of that circuit, those three exercises. You can always mix in anything else that you wanna do this more body weight exercise, but this little circuit is perfect for getting back into the gym and starting to integrate some weight training and using kettlebells can be a great way to do that. So if you like this video and you wanna see more, please hit subscribe. We talk about all things back pain, weight training, Pilates, all different women's health topics to help guide you in the right direction and making you feel better about your physical health. So my name is Dr. Dawn on the loan. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you learned something.